and I'm just gonna keep performing, you know, keep knocking them out. You know, I want blood. I want blood this week. You know, if there is no blood, I didn't do my job. <laughs> you, you fight. You're fighting a string of uh, opponents with good, credible records. In, in in that sense, would you class yourself as a bit of a throwback fighter? Of course, not, not a bit of a, I'm, I'm old Chubok fighter. I'm all old school, you know. I don't care about this. You know I don't do this new stuff. I don't train like they do, you know. They're not even in their league. You know, they're all good fighters till now. Very, very good fighters. Nobody could do three rounds with me, bro. You can't. And my best rounds are three to six. And then six to nine, it's even better. So, I have much, much more to give, you know. We've seen the sparring footage of you uh, with Joe Joyce and anyone that thought you couldn't sort of stand in there with a, a big legitimate heavyweight have now got a question. I know it's just sparring, but, you know, do you think you've answered a few questions with that footage there? Yeah, and it's not just sparring, bro. Sparring is harder than an actual fight, you know, because on the sparring, you can really do everything, every combination, you can do everything. In, in the fight, you don't do half of those things, you know. They are more or less, so it's kind of the same, but... I think I, I answered a lot of questions right there, you know, with the Joyce party. And he was surprised, you know, everybody was surprised. And I came, I came into George Joyce party with zero day notice. You know, they just called me and I came. And I did 14 rounds in this. You, know, you don't do that with George Joyce unless you're a savage, you know, and he's bigger than like 50 kilos. Just one final one as well. You know, you've, you, we're used to seeing you in short, explosive fights. Um, but do you think Mark Bennett is the guy who's going to actually take you a few rounds and, and answer some questions in terms of the uh, stamina department? <laughs> don't even think that. How can I do it? When you ask that question, you, I can see you don't think that. No, he's the worst of my last four opponents. And there is no way. Because it would be a spit in the f in my last four opponents if I go uh, if I go over three rounds with Mark Bennett. So I'm not going to do that. I, I plan on bring a very, very, very... Quick and the bloody night. Thanks, um, Alan. Good luck on uh, Saturday. Thanks for your time. Oh, well. Thanks, Aki. If you go to Chris Ridgway next, please. Alan, Alan, how are you? Savage. Very good. But I'm you not look? seeing you, brother. I see my former adversary. Where are you? Can you see me now? I'm over here. Yes, I can see you now. Uh, so. no, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's, no, it's good to see you, Matt. I can see you right in the middle of the screen as well. <laughs> yeah. um, let, let me tell you about Mark Bennett. I mean, you've just said he's the worst of the worst opponent that, you, that you've come up against in the last four fights. So many fighters that we speak to, they say, we want to get the rounds in, 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 early, in early fights in the career just to kind of build up that experience. Are you not interested in that? Well, those are so many fighters. I'm not so many fighters, you know. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm different. Because with my weight and that stuff, I can't be like them. You know, I, I don't have the privilege. So I got out of my fucking mind, you know, to, to, to cope with those guys who are 50 kilos heavier than me. So I'm not all the fighters. I'm, I'm totally something old, you know, not new. I can't say I'm something new, I'm something old. It's been extinct, but I'm going to bring it back, you know. And you're going to see Mark Bennett is going to be... In a world of shabber, brother, I'm going to throw 100 punches in my first round, counted. Um, on, on the topic of other fighters in the, uh, in the fight from this weekend, Nick Webb was on earlier on. You and him have had a bit of a back and forth. Do you, do you plan on speaking to Nick while you're in the bubble or at fight camp this week? Well, I think Nick is a very boring guy. You know, he's such a boring man. I can't even look at him. You know, I fall asleep with him. <laughs> You see, when I talk about him, Savage goes to sleep. So, fuck Nick Webb. I'm not going to look at Ebony Bridges is in the camp. The girl is going to be in the camp you know, on Friday. So, why do I look at Nick Webb? Fuck Nick Webb. You know? fair, 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 fair comment. Uh, just final one from me then. I guess, how, how does this go down? Are you looking to stay within the three-round knockout ratio this weekend? It's going to be the three rounds, brother. And all oh, my life is going to praise. And another one gets fixed up. Yes, picked up by the Valkyries to deliver to the holes of Valhalla, but not at the main holes, you know, but the secondary holes. It's going to be over inside two, two rounds. I lost two you then. Did you say over inside two? Yeah, I think it's going to be over inside two because I have to respect my other opponents, which were much better than Bennett. You know, I had much more KO ratio, 90% KO ratio. So I, out of respect to them, I'm 
destroy Bennett. Bloody butter. I can, I can feel it. It's going to be a bloody butter. I feel it in the air, brother. I don't know who's blood. I can't say, but blood in the air. Fair play. Well, listen, all the best. We'll be watching uh, for sure. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Chris. If we go to Warren from Boxing Social, please. Savage, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hello, Boxing Social. Well, Alan, something I want to ask you about was this transition from Alan Babbage to the Savage that we're seeing now. I saw it when I was around you for fight week, that, that switch goes. Can you tell us a bit more about that? When in fight week does the Savage usually start to creep in? And is it natural? Do you just wake up one day and, and the switch is gone? Well, the Savage comes. The Savage comes and goes, you know, because uh, at the, at, if he leaves me at the fight day, I'm going to be in fucking trouble, you know. So I'm always worried about that. But Savage is here right now. We're talking to him, you know. The guy was here filming some stuff. And the Savage just rolled. Yes, I will, you know, just does stuff like that, you know. I just love it. I say it to him because if I were if I were alone in this, it would be a very lonely sport, you know. But it's not because I have multiple personalities. So fuck it, you know. <laughs> Everybody's talking anyway, so at least I can give them a show, you know. I think like I I owe the people a show. You know? I owe them all because they all expect something from the sellers. I can't just say. Like like Hergovic, oh, I'm a boxer. You know, I can't do that. I gotta go. I gotta go through. I gotta go through. I got to see firsthand how much the Savage enjoyed being in front of the crowd in Newcastle. You had a great time up there. You, you really enjoyed feeding off that atmosphere. This is your second fight camp, but notably this time there will be fans there too. And like the first fight camp, is that extra motivation for you knowing the fans are gonna be there? Watch the Savage. Oh God, it's it's all the motivation I need, and and just this this field of Eddie Hearns field, you know, it's a football field. You call it a garden, but it's a football field that I come from, and it just brings so much energy into me, you know. And I just want to destroy someone. I want to seriously hurt someone, you know. And that is the savage speaking. So you can't sue Alan. You know, leave Alan alone. Alan has nothing to do with it. I want to do pain, you know. I want to, I want to, I want to do pain, you know. I just want to, I really want to beat someone up, you know. That is the, the the truth of the matter because I really am a boxer to the core, you know. I want, I want to beat you. I just don't, want, I don't, no, fuck judges. I don't like judges. I, I never like judges. So I don't even need judges. I don't want to beat somebody, you know. All right, Savage, I'll pass you on to the other guys. Good luck and thank you for speaking to us. Oh. Thanks, Ryan. If we go to Pro Boxing Fans next, please. Hey, Savage, how are you? What's up, brother? Very good, very good. Good man. Um, you're talking about um, getting rid of Mark Bennett pretty quickly um, in this fight, like you have pretty much all your opponents. Is there a man out there that can, can seriously challenge Alan Babich? Is there, is there anyone out there you think, hmm, maybe he could give me, give me a few rounds? Yes, and I don't look at them like you do. And I look at them in the other eyes. And in my other eyes, that man is Dave Allen. Oh, you know, he's the guy who's been through wars. He's the guy who has the, the ability, the power to stop me, you know. Not, not to stop me, but to stop being knocked out in the first three rounds. You know, mm-hmm. That's also big stuff. So I rate him uh, very high. I rated that Kant Hrgovic high, so I'm going to get him also. So I have I have guys, you know, but I gotta go through these guys first. You know? They want me to have, I don't know, ten and over with ten no cause okay, I'm gonna you want twenty though, I'm gonna have it. You know, fuck I'm gonna fight every fucking month until you give me somebody, you know? Because I just wanna I wanna just perform. That's that's what I've been doing. Seven fights, seven knockouts inside three rounds, you know. That is my shit. You know, I don't I don't do I don't do boxing like these guys do, you know. You gotta understand it's different. When you're locked with an animal inside, when you're locked with demon inside a ring, it's fucking different, you know? Nobody knows it until they try it. Well, well, thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll let the other guys ask you some questions. All the best at the weekend. Thank you, man. Okay, if we go to Dona next, please. Hi, Alan. How's it going? Sorry, the Savage. Hi, brother. Very good. It's Savage, yeah. Don't call Alan because he's not here. (laughs) Are you a friend of Maximus? Of course. Are you a I'm friend terrified. of Maximus? You are the one who called the Maximus. The Maximus is dead, brother. The Savage is back and the Savage has come to reclaim his own. <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask your opinion, Savage, Alan, whoever is there. What do you think of this situation where, where your, old, your old pal, your close friend, uh, Philip Ergovic, just can't seem to get himself a fight? 
Valerius. <laughs> fucking sick of because you know, you know what's funny? Eddie Hearn said he's the boogeyman of boxing. Well, I said there's the shittiest boogeyman I ever saw. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is there? What the fuck is there to be like, like scared of? Well, he beat nobody. Nobody. He beat Eric Molina. That's his toughest win. That was the worst fight that I watched in ages. So, no, he has nothing. But believe me, if you knew him personally, you would know he's a far from boogeyman. You know, far fucking far from boogeyman. He has nothing. Like, you know, you chaps are gonna bow when I whoop him. Oh, no, you yeah, no, got him. I know you got him big. The man is in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. <laughs> now that uh, the restrictions are being lifted worldwide, is there, after this fight, do you think there's a chance maybe uh, you call up Eddie Hearn and say, look, you really can't get him a fight? Okay, I'll help you out. I'll go beat I'm him up a, for you're you. You're a smart little boy, ain't you? <laughs> you're a smart little fella. It's maybe that's exactly what Savage want to do, you know, but because we have to wait after the fight, you know, so be, be sure to tune in because we have some statements. Thank you very much, mate. See you, my brother.